we're told that as part of an experiment about train speed, four different train conductors measured the distance that they covered over a certain amount of time during a recent journey. So this look, these are the four trains. This is how long it took them to go this many miles. However, they all used different time intervals. Yeah, you see this guy, he did it over half an hour. This guy did it over two hours. And they are having a difficult time comparing their data. According to the data provided, were all four trains moving at the same speed during the experiment? So we just have to figure out what was the speed of all of these four trains based on how far they went in this amount of time. And just to remind us, you might already know this, but you know that distance is equal to rate times time. Or if you were to divide both sides of this equation by time, I could do that. If you divide both sides by time, the times cancel out. And you get rate is equal to distance divided by time. Rate is equal to distance divided by time. Rate is the same thing as speed. And it makes sense that it's distance divided by time. You've heard miles per hour, or meter per second, or kilometers per hour. Rate, speed, is distance divided by time. So we need to figure out, so we can just use this. We can just divide the distance by the time for each of these trains and figure out what their speed was. So let's do that. So let's write their speeds. I'll make another column for their speed right here. So what's this first guy? He went 27.5 miles in 0.5 hours. So once again, let's divide the distance for this train 1. He went 27.5 miles in 0.5. So if you divide something by 0.5, this is the same thing as 27.5 times 2. Let me do it this way. Times 2. What's 27.5 times 2? It is 55. It is 55, and it is miles per hour. So his speed is 55, 55 miles per hour. Now, this guy. This is pretty straightforward. He went 55 miles in exactly one hour. The distance divided by time is 55. So this guy is pretty straightforward. He's also 55. And you can put it in the formula. 55 is the distance. The time is one hour. 55 over 1, 55 miles per hour. Now this guy went 82 and a half miles in one and a half hours. Let's see what that is. So he went 82 and a half miles in 1.5 hours. So let's figure out what this is. And I'll have to do a little bit of decimal long division to do this. So we have 1.5 goes into 82.5. Let's multiply both of these numbers by 10, essentially shift their decimals one over. So shift that decimal over here. So it becomes 15 goes into 825 how many times? So 15 goes into. It doesn't go into 8 at all. It goes into 82 5 times. 5 times 5 is 25. Carry the 2. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2 is 70. Subtract 75. 82 minus 75 is 70, is just a 7, right? And then you bring down this 5. 15 goes into 75 5 times. Exactly. 5 times 15 is 75. Subtract, no remainder. So 82.5 miles in an hour and a half is also 55 miles per hour. And then finally, if you do 110 miles in two hours, 110 divided by 2 is 55. So they did indeed all go, or they all did move at the same speed during the experiment.